Hello friends, welcome to this part 2 of data analysis in Fabric Warehouse and Power BI. In this part 2, I'm going to show you how we can use the common table expression popularly known as CTAs to calculate the best selling products and I'm going to show you how we can use the virtual table in the Power BI to achieve the same results. So let's get started. I'm going to show you the three tables in my Power BI model and also the same three tables in the Fabric Warehouse later. So I'm going to come to the model view and I can see the F says the fact table, the day customer and the day products. And when I come to the table view, I can see the day product that contains four columns, the product ID, product name, category and price. And in the fact table, the F sales, we have the sales ID, sales date, customer ID, product ID, and the quantity. So I'm going to click on the new table. I want to create a virtual table. So I'm going to call this one best selling product equals and alt enter. And I'm going to love to use variables. So I'm going to actually copy these and control V. And I'm just going to add one and equals alt enter, tab, key, tab key. And I'm going to use the top end function. Now, because I'm going to return the best selling product, not all the products. So for the top end, I'm going to Alt enter and type one for the end value, comma, and then for the table name, I'm going to use the summarize DAX function. And for the summarize, I'm going to provide the name of the table, alt enter. So I'm going to call the D product table, comma, and then alt enter for the group by column name. I'm going to group by the product name in the D product table. So I'm going to type the product name, and then I can comma and alt enter. Now for the group by column name, we're going to have two columns. First is the product column, and then the second one is going to be total quantity. So inside double quote, I'm going to call this one total quantity, and then close the double quote, and I can put in a comma or enter. And then I can provide the expression of the summarize. Now for the expression, I'm going to use the sum x function combined with the related table that function to iterate over the F6 table and then sum the quantity column in the FCS table. So sum x function and then alt enter related DAX function alt enter and then for the table name I'm going to provide the FCS fact table close that up comma and then for the expression alt enter I'm going to provide the quantity column inside the FCS table and then I can alt enter close the bracket alt enter close the bracket and I can put in comma alt enter and then we are back to the top end, the third argument of the top end, which is the order by expression. And then for this, we're going to use the total quantity that we define in this summarize. So I can call the total quantity, comma, alt, enter. And then for the other one, I want to order this in a descending order. And then alt, enter, close the bracket, and alt, enter, backspace, 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 backspace. And then use the return. And I want to return this best selling product one that we define. Control V, alt, enter, and there we go. So the best selling product is the laptop with 38,788 units sold, which is super amazing. Now I want to go to the fabric warehouse and achieve the same result. So I'm going to come to my browser and then at the same table, the date product, the F sales. So I'm going to use the common table expression, the CTE, to achieve this. So I'm going to type in with um, CTE. Let me just copy this name in the Power BI and I'm going to control V and I'm going to use the R's and open the bracket. So I can provide my select. So I'm going to select first the product name. So now I can say the D product table and then the F sales. So I can make it easier for you to understand. I'm going to drag the product name here and let me just indent everything to make it easier for you to understand. And I'm going to put in a comma and then I want to use the sum function. I want to sum the quantity column in the F sales. So I'm going to drag this here and close the bracket. I'm going to alias this as total quantity and press enter, press the back seat, and I'm going to provide the name of the table. So it's going to be coming from the day product table. So I'm going to move this here and I'm going to press enter and backspace. I'm going to use the inner join. So inner join, I want to inner join the F saves, the fact table. I'm going to move this down here. Uh, let me just indent this. Now, before we go on, I'm going to alias the product and the F sales table. So I'm going to come here and type in P for product and then I'm going to type in S for sales. Now I'm going to use this aliases inside the column from the two tables. So I'm going to come here. This is the product column that's coming from this product table. I'm going to type in P dot and then for the quantity, I'm going to come here and type in S because the quantity is coming from the F sales and I can go on and 
write my query. So I'm going to use the on keyword, and for the on keyword, I want to match where the p dot product ID is equal to s dot product ID coming from this f sales, and then oops, oh, let me just drag this again. Uh, product ID. Okay, and uh, let me get rid of this. Okay, and then I can use the group by clause. Press the back button and group by the p dot product name. So p dot product name, and let me just move this to the next line to make it easier to read. And then I can close the bracket for the CTE, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the top one from this best selling CTE based on this total quantity so for this i'm going to type in select star or top one star from the best selling city we defined here and then i'm going to order by the total quantity here order by this total quantity and uh, tab key and i'm going to use the descending order and let me just indent this also to make it easier to read press enter and i'm going to press enter and press enter tab key and let me just come here tab key okay so this is all we need to do i can go on and run the query and let's see the results there we go so this gave us product name as laptop and then the total quantity is 38,788 exactly the same result we achieved in the power bi so this is how we can use the dax and the sql languages to calculate the best selling product based on our data i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now